Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last year in October, I posted a video that BitLocker could slow down SSDs on Windows 11 by up to 45%. And I'll leave that video in the end screen. And the reason I'm mentioning that video is because uh, BitLocker um, can hamper and obviously degrade your performance um, on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Uh, especially if you are maybe not running a high-end PC, as an example. Now, in regards to this, uh, DeskModder, who is a German news outlet, has now reported that with Windows 11 version 24H2, and there seems to be a lot going on with Windows 11 version 24H2, uh, Microsoft kind of shaking the apple cart a little bit so to speak so with version 24h2 according to this report by desk modder which by the way i'll leave down below uh, in the description if you'd like to go check it out more in detail just remember it's in german so you'll have to translate it uh, microsoft may enable bitlocker by default um in windows 11 including windows 11 home which is currently not the case so if i head to my settings currently i'm running windows 11 home on this device and i head to my privacy and security device encryption you'll see if i click on bitlocker drive encryption it takes me over to the microsoft store to upgrade to windows 11 pro or windows 10 pro obviously to receive and purchase uh, the pro versions of the os to obviously enable bitlocker drive encryption which as mentioned is not enabled by default on windows 11 home which could change with version 24 h2 now bitlocker is a good thing to have on your device especially when you are obviously traveling with your laptop or your tablet but the question is obviously the questionable thing is that if the encryption is being forced not everybody, especially if you're not that computer literate, may know it's installed and may not know where to go, as we've just demonstrated, in the actual settings to enable or disable the feature. So um, the, it does come with a couple of disadvantages. And as many of you may know, um, when your device is encrypted with BitLocker, it not only encrypts the C drive um, the, or the drive that your OS is installed on, but all your connected hard drives. If you have more hard drives connected, it will encrypt all of them. So obviously this, as I've posted in that previous video, which mentioned will be in the end screen, this can obviously lead to complications, especially with performance if you are running a low budget machine. And another problem is that if you don't save the BitLocker key in advance, um, maybe you don't give it a second thought or whatever reason. Maybe, you, as mentioned, you're not that um, computer savvy. You're just average Joe. You don't need know that you need to save it for future reference. And if you don't ha save your BitLocker key in advance, you then get locked out of your system. And we've actually spoken on this previously on the channel when this was actually a bug with one of the previous Windows updates, which uh, was made available a year or so ago. So just a couple of things to consider regarding this. Obviously, um, this is obviously just speculation. This is what DeskModder is reporting. It's not an official uh, announcement by Microsoft, but nonetheless, I thought it was interesting. And that, as mentioned, um, BitLocker could default encrypt your data um, on Windows 11 24H2 home PCs as well, and not just Windows 11 Pro and other additions. So um, if obviously I get anything more substantial regarding um this report and something becomes more official i'll keep you guys in the loop but just giving you a heads up like we like to do on the channel so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one